Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And today we're going to be looking at an IDE slash code editor named Genie. Now this has actually been around for a very long time. It was first released in 2005, I believe it was, but they just released Genie 2.0, which is why we're talking about it today. What you see in front of you, this is Genie. And one of the big reasons I can tell you to use Genie, well, let me demonstrate it. So this is Genie, say goodbye Genie, and now we're gonna go ahead and start Genie back up. So this is the loading time. I like that. This is a very lightweight and incredibly fast IDE. So it loads up almost immediately. Uh, again, it straddles the ground in between like IDE. It's not a full fat IDE like Visual Studio or even Visual Studio Code, but it's a little bit above like Notepad++ in terms of the amount of features that are provided. Uh, it does have a full editing environment. It has support for a number of different languages. What you see in front of you, this is GDScript. This is one of the things that was added in Genie 2.0. And to be honest, beyond that, I can't tell you much more about this. I've never actually used Genie other than for a couple of hours today. Uh, one thing I have noticed is it is very modular in nature. For example, this over here, the file viewer, that itself is actually a plugin. The entire architecture is very plugin based. So you come on up here, you're going to notice there are uh, a variety of plugins you can enable. Like I said, uh, core things like the file browser, that is implemented as a plugin. You'll notice I also uh, have a debugger in here, which is cool. So you've got full bug debugging support for your various different languages. They are available available in here as well. Uh, Latex support built in as a plugin. You've got a spell checker you could add as a plugin. Uh, if you're a Vim person, you can get Vim mode. You can download that as a plugin. Uh, and there's even a plugin for writing plugins using Python, because I think the default language for plugins is Lua. Uh, so you can see down here, you got a variety of different things. You got a built in terminal down here. You do have a debugger. I enabled this as a plugin. Once again, uh, if you are working with uh, external compilers, you do have tools uh, for like compiling, linting, making your code right here or running or executing your code there. You do have control over how they are set up. So for example, here is my Godot execution command uh, and the command will go in there. You're gonna notice you have like wildcards you can set in. So this is the current directory of the current folder, for example, of the currently open file. Uh, this does show your recently accessed files. This here, again, is implemented as a plugin, which I really find, to be honest, a little bit strange. Uh, the editor is straightforward. Uh, the coloring and the theming behind this one, so this one is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, uh, and it's all built on GTK. That has a couple of ramifications. First off, all of the theming for it itself is built off a GTK theme. You're seeing this running on Mac OS, for example, uh, and it provides a light and a dark mode theme that automatically uses what the OS native is. But if you want a custom things like this stuff, uh, it's done with the GTK theme settings. So if you're in Linux, that should be a very simple process. On other platforms, it does get a bit more involved. But you do have actual control over the code over here. Uh, so you can change out your font, you can change your color schemes. So if you want, you know, various different code coloring, uh, sorry about the blinding there. Uh, you do have a variety of different options here that have been implemented. Uh, so, and again, you'll notice as I'm switching between these things, it is fast. And I think that is the ongoing theme of Genie. I think people that really love Genie, uh, it is because it is a quick and nimble um, editor environment. You're going to see also you do have settings over here uh, for configuration files for the various different uh, types that were passed in. There are definitely some things missing as well. There doesn't seem to be language server support for uh, generically. So if you want to do C sharp development, uh, you're going to have to jump through some hoops, for example. You do have all the, uh, the configurations and the settings stuff here that you can come in and edit the way things work. But if you want to hook into a live language server, you either need to create an extension for it, hope someone else has, uh, which the good news is there have some out there. There's one for Clang or for C++ developments. There's one for Python, etc. But if you're trying to do a GD script, for example, and you want to hook into the live language server, the LSP stuff, I don't think you'll have that opportunity. So anyways, this here is it. Again, it's, it's a code editor. It's one of those things where uh, it's either going to speak to you or it won't. Uh, there are, again, key modes here for Vim. Uh, it uses the same text uh, editor or parser behind the scenes as Notepad++, by the way. If you're interested in going ahead and checking it out, it is available at genie.org. That's G-E-A-N-Y.org. Uh, you can see the big thing that they talk about, their, their number one advertisers. And one of the primary reasons for Genie's existence is there is a need for a decent, gooey, lightweight, cross-platform, flexible, and powerful IDE editor. Uh, many editors meet one or more of these requirements but fall short on the other. So that is the selling point of Genie. Uh, it is, again, customizable. There are a variety of different file types supported, things like C, Java, PHP, HTML, JavaScript, Python, or Perl. There's a ton of plugins available. Uh, some of them are included out of the box. Uh, some of them are uh, from the community. 
Uh, it is a GPL v3 open source license project. Uh, in terms of features, you can see things here. It's got syntax highlighting, code folding, uh, symbol name auto completion, uh, construct completion snippets, auto closing of XML and HTML tags, call tips, a um, number of varieties of file formats. You can see the full list of supported file formats right here. Uh, so again, you do have C Sharp support, for example, and you can hook it up to a C Sharp tooling, build chain, debugger, and all that stuff. Um, so that is uh, additional steps that you're going to have to make though. Uh, and, uh, symbol list code navigation, build system to compile and execute your code. It's got simple project management. There's even a plugin for doing multiple projects for the same thing. And it runs on anything that has GTX. That includes older things like Solaris actually work as well. Uh, also do know that uh, the windows port of genie is missing some features because of the in, uh, incomplete GTX support or not GTX, uh, GTK support on that particular platform. So it's one of those things to be aware of. Uh, and then uh, there's also, as I said earlier on, a variety of plugins uh, for Genie. So for example, if you wanna add Markdown support, there is a Markdown. So you can do things like see a Markdown preview. Uh, is, you know, uh, the stuff that you would expect, it is all here. Again, LaTeX stuff as well. And then we have some third-party things here as well for adding things in. Uh, so you can see, for example, if you want to add uh, Python support, there is Genie Pi right here. And so this gives you the ability to work with Python directly inside of Genie, or this, actually this gives you the ability to create a Genie add-ons using uh, Python. So that's uh, one of the example Python uh, extensions that's available for you. Uh, then uh, I mentioned earlier on, this is an open source project. So it is available up on GitHub. A variety of themes are available as well. Then ditto for all of the various different plugins that are available. Uh, it is under the uh, GPL license, GPL2, which is just fine for software. I'm not a big fan of GPL for code, uh, like engines and frameworks, etc. But for software, it works perfectly well and does exactly what it set out to do. Uh, and then, as I mentioned earlier on, Genie 2 was just released. So this is actually the 18th birthday. On October 19th, 2005, Genie 0 0.1 was released, and they just released uh, 2.0, like, again, 18 years later, which is pretty impressive. Uh, and some of the highlights of this, you can see th th what they added here. Um, one of the big things I know that you guys will be interested in is this guy right there. So the addition of GD script, we got a couple other interesting ones in there, such as uh, updates to NIM and Markdown and Kotlin. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of it. And the other thing you're going to find, there are uh, language support for a ton of different environments. I think it was 43, they said. Uh, so if you, there's a pretty good chance that there's native language support for whatever platform you're on, if you're a non-English user. Uh, and that's that's nice as well. So that is the extent of what was added in Genie 2.0. At the end of the day, uh, why would you use Genie over other tools? Well, there's a couple reasons. First off, if you're on Linux, it is directly in the package manager. So if you need a tool quickly, you can just apt install Genie. Uh, on top of that, again, I think the number one feature is once again, this. So Genie and there's Genie. I like that. It's a very fast quick loading editor. And on top of that, um, the stuff that you don't need, if you don't want it, don't load it. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Genie. Happy 18th birthday and congratulations on the release 2.0. Again, GD script added in there, over 40 language supported on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, completely free, open source, and very fast and very small. Both things that I think a lot of people admire. Uh, have you used Genie? Do you like Genie? Uh, are you considering using Genie? If not, what uh, text editor or IDE do you use today? Let me know, comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.